Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you guys like it and it really helps you guys with your math. In the meantime, let's go ahead and solve this problem. If you do like the video and it does help you, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helped me out. But you can do what you're going to do, right? So, find the inverse of the 1 to 1 function. Uh, so we don't need to figure out if this is 1 to 1. It's linear, so we really didn't have to worry about it in the first place. But... Finding the one-to-one -one function on this really shouldn't be too difficult. What I'm going to do is rewrite this. Instead of f of x, I'm going to use y because it would be easier to focus on replacing the x and y, which is what an inverse function is. So this is what I have right now. But once again, I'm, I'm inversing the x and y, which means I'm just going to replace the x and y with each other. And then I'm going to solve for y. So the first thing I would do on this problem is to multiply both of these sides of the equation by 2. And so that's going to cancel out the denominator there. That gives us 2x equals y minus 3. Next thing, to solve this equation, I would be looking to add 3 to both sides of the equation. And a 3 is not a like term with that 2x, so I'm just going to write it as 2x plus 3 equals y because these two terms canceled out. Now this is y inverse and I can keep it like this to show my inverse function. That's all I needed to do for this. Uh, again if I were to graph this it would be reflection one over the other over the line y equals x. So thanks again for watching the video. Uh, subscribe, look for other videos like this in my channel that will help you out. I have over a thousand videos, so uh, hopefully you can find what you're looking for there.